Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is If a tetrahybrid plant, heterozygous at four loci, is self-fertilized, what proportion of its offspring will be homozygous dominant at all four loci? So basically, in other words, here is a question. If one plant is heterozygous for one locus, for two loci, for three loci, and for four loci, is self-pollinated, so also would be crossed with the same plant of the same genotype, which is going to be heterozygous at uh, four loci, what is the probability that it's going to result in the genotype that is going to be homozygous dominant for all four loci. So going to be homozygous dominant. Here is how we are going to solve this problem. Take a look. Let's take only one locus. For example, locus A, gene A. So what is the probability when we cross two parents? So this is going to be parent 1 and this is going to be parent 2. So if we cross two parents with following genotype for locus A, that the progeny is going to be homozygous dominant for this locus. Take a look. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. And as you see, probability would be one quarter. And we are going to use this number in order to solve this problem. So here is the formula one quarter in a power of n. n here stands for the number of loci. In our case it is going to be one quarter in a power of four because we have four heterozygous loci. So the answer is going to be this is the same as one quarter multiplied by itself four times. And the answer is going to be one over 256. One more time, if we cross two parents that is going to be heterozygous for four loci, probability that the progeny would be homozygous dominant for all four loci is going to be one over 256. Another way how we can solve this problem, take a look, probability that for locus, for gene A, progeny is going to be homozygous dominant is going to be one quarter. So let's put one quarter here. Probability that for the gene B, if we cross these two parents, going to be homozygous dominant also would be one quarter. And as for the locus C, if we cross two parents who is going to be heterozygous, probability that their progeny is going to be homozygous dominant for this locus would be again one quarter. And for the locus D, again, we have the same probability, which is going to be one quarter, that their progeny is going to be homozygous dominant. And all these independent probabilities we just have to multiply. And we are going to get 1 over 256. And this is answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.